Happy Valentine's Day, Charlie Brown. Each February, Charlie Brown makes Valentine's for all his friends, plus a special one for the little red haired girl. This year's Valentine for her is the nicest one yet. And this year, Charlie Brown is determined to deliver it. It goes like this. Your hair is red and full of curls. You're sweeter than all other girls. You make me want to laugh and cry. I wish that I could be your guy. As Charlie Brown is leaving his house to deliver his special valentine, he runs into his sister, Sally. Sally is making a fortune teller valentine for her sweet babu also known as Linus. No matter which fortune he chooses, Linus will know how I feel, Sally says. Every message tells Linus that Sally wants him to be her valentine. Outside, Charlie Brown sees Marcy and Peppermint Patty. Peppermint Patty shows Charlie Brown a chain of paper dolls she has made. These dolls are like mistletoe. She explains and wiggles her eyebrows. If two people stand under them, they have to hold hands. Charlie Brown falls away. Soon he bumps into Pigpen. Pigpen is busy picking up cereal, nuts, raisins, and candy that spilled onto the sidewalk. What is all these? asks Charlie Brown. I'm making my super sweetheart crunchy munchies for Snoopy's Valentine's Day party, answers Pigpen. Snoopy is throwing a party? This is news to Charlie Brown. My own dog is having a party and didn't invite me, moans Charlie Brown. Why would the little red-haired girl want a valentine for me? Charlie Brown decides to visit Lucy's booth. He pays a nickel and explains his problem. You need to speak up, Lucy advises. Tell Snoopy and the little red-haired girl how you feel. Charlie Brown shudders at the thought of speaking up. There is no sense being shy, Lucy tells him. Then she shows Charlie Brown the valentine she will give to Schroeder at the party. Charlie Brown feels better. Lucy isn't afraid to express her feelings. He shouldn't be afraid either.
Charlie Brown marches right over to Snoopy's doghouse. I've heard you're having a party and you invited everyone but me, he says. I'm the one who feeds you and takes care of you. Snoopy types something up on his typewriter and hands it to Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown thinks it is an invitation. Then he realizes it's just a list of snacks Snoopy needs for his party. Charlie Brown decides to go straight to the little red-haired girl's house. But once he gets there, he just can't bring himself to even ring the doorbell. Hmm. So, he stops at the store to buy snacks and then goes to Snoopy's party. When he arrives, the party is in full swing. Linus says, Gee, Charlie Brown, you just missed the little red-haired girl. Charlie Brown smacks his forehead. Good grief, he cries. He has the worst luck. But at least someone has given him a valentine. Charlie Brown tears open the envelope and finds a card signed by all his friends. He says... Happy Valentine's Day, Charlie Brown.